Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Brood War, the Zerg campaign. I'm a serious JG. Magnification of Evolving Tissue shows that something or other substrates, something additions detected, polytoxic symbionts, blah blah blah. Limbic musculature skeletal systems and circulatory limbic musculus active and blah so we've got super hot if you're into weird insectoid alien chicks kerrigan and apparently we're going to get ready to do something about the kelmorian combine which i'd know all about if i read the manual to the first game although i've never seen a hard copy version let's move on kelmorian combine combine command ship hyperion orbiting the planet moria the Mines of Moria. Now that the Psy Disruptor has been destroyed, and Kerrigan has regained control of her minions... She can betray us and kill us. She will forget our pact yeah. and turn on us. I know what you mean, Phoenix. I'd love to believe that she's on the level, but there's a part of me that just knows better. However, I do believe that she's serious about taking out the UED. The only real question left is what happens to us. When she wins. Why are you helping her? If you ask then? me, she's completely untrustworthy. But so long as she'll help me retake Core Hall, I'll work with her. Shut up, Arcturus. I, I thought we were if all I friends here. Your damn opinion, I would have beaten it out of you. And in case you forgot, you were the reason she became what she is in the first place. You boys should really learn to play nice Arcturus. with each other. Mengsk is crying. Does that make you feel are better, Rainer? Ready to assault Core Hall as we planned? Nearly. I still need a substantial cache of resources in order to build up my primary So, hive not clusters. nearly. I'm wondering if you gentlemen wouldn't mind going on a fuel raid for me. It sounds like you've already got a plan. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that we should pay the Kalmorian Combine a little visit. We've never done Moria anything in this game before. Moria is one of the largest resource nodes in the sector. Ah, see, it is the if mines of Moria. If you can bypass their defenses and steal enough resources from them, clearly an intentional reference. We'll be able to afford a full-scale assault on Core Hall. It's risky. But I think we can handle it. Phoenix, are you into this? If it betters our chances, I will lead the assault myself. Great. Let's get moving. Do you think they suspect anything, my queen? They're still listening, dumbass. Of course. They aren't stupid, Duran. They're siding with the evil they know over the evil they don't. They simply don't yet realize what it will cost them. So they're siding with the evil they don't know... But think they know against the evil they don't know. Gotcha. Queens have the ability to infest a severely damaged Terran command center. Once infested, the command center is now a Zerg structure, capable of building infested Terrans that explode when attacking. Cerebrate, I want you to infest as many Terran command centers as possible. Once they're infested, we'll be able to use them in our coming assault on Core Hall. <laughs> I hunger for battle. Yep. Anyway. So we start off with a little bit of an army here, and, uh... We have to find some resources to build that. Coming up shortly, one of my favorite dialogues in StarCraft, so be listening for that. Oh, we lost our own ultralisks. It's too bad. Alongside my greatest enemy in order to save this sector. Fortune has been whimsical of late. You sound like a tired old man, Phoenix. Don't let the fact that I am 368 years older than you dull your impression of me, young Rainer. I can still, how do you tear and say it, throw down with the best of them. I stand corrected. <laughs> yeah, so. Another one of those little Starcraftisms that Bobo and I will throw at each other. Occasionally we'll, we will refer to each other as being able to throw down with the best of them. So this is a kind of a unique mission. Uh, 
there is a similar mission to this in like Warcraft 3, but um, our mission is to gather 10,000 minerals. So you can clear out the entire map of enemies, or you can just build a base and defend it and mine. Uh, the biggest advantage of clearing out your enemies is that, as they mentioned, uh, the whole spawn, uh, like the capturing command centers and turning them into infested command centers thing for a reason. In the next mission, any command centers we infest in this mission, we get to use. However, I don't really use infested turns very much. So, although I have definitely played the game before and gone through and saved before each attack and made sure to take over every command center, I'm not really going to be too worried about doing that here. I think if we get one, that'll be enough. Just in order to be able to build useful stuff, um, I am going to go ahead and harvest Vespine. We're not just going to sit here and collect minerals and do nothing else. As you can see, we're going to want to build uh, colonies over there. We'll need at least 10,000 units of crystals to maintain the hive clusters. Don't come back with anything less. Or I'll kill you. Didn't want to leave the parasited one alive. Well, we kind of got to see into their base a little bit there. So as you can see, there's lots and lots of minerals to be mined. Yeah, I don't think you can get... Well, unless you don't spend anything, you can't get 10,000 on any of them. This is a map that can take you a really long time to clear if you feel like fighting everybody. And you can... But if you just do nothing but mine and defend yourself, it's... I think it's fairly straightforward either way. You can get... I mean, there's a lot of... Well, there's... What am I trying to say here? There's multiple Terran forces on this map. There's quite a few. They're all allied to each other. They won't fight each other. But, um... They're not really terribly aggressive with attacking you. They will definitely attack you. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they're going to attack you. So if you play the way I do and you're always mineral starved because you don't have enough workers, it's yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try to either adjust my play style to this mission or I'm gonna end up clearing several of the Terran bases before I've got an excess of minerals of the kind that will actually allow us to end the mission. They can't attack from this other direction too, but seems to be where they're gonna start from.
So they just really... Oh, well, they're letting him stay here. Oh, that's what I need to put parasites on as the transports. Not enough energy. There was a transport. I want to hit it. Yeah. You know, I want to hit that, hit that. There we go. Those things will fly around and give me a good view of what's going on all over this map. Maybe it is all, but I thought it was several different forces, but Brown seems to have a pretty big base. Can't let Phoenix get killed, but for some reason I still feel like having them hang out over here. See, there's lots of little spots like this where it's not a full-fledged base, but it is guys who are going to fight you before they let you take over. Like, we can come up here and just take out their main base, which is probably a really good idea, actually. Oh, sh shit, they got, uh... Yeah, siege wapits are gonna make uh, sunken colonies not be sufficient on their own to do this. I, think I will try to go with ground units for this one. Although this is a complicated map with a lot of ups and downs on it, so maybe it isn't good. Maybe this is a good place for mass air, but I just did mass air, so I'm kind of bored with it. Need to worry about a colony there to spread creep. The guy spread creep once I've got. Oh, come on. Man. There's a siege tank shooting at it. It's never going to give peace to this sunken colony that I'm trying to establish here. Throwing in all these hatcheries seems to have been a bad move now because suddenly I'm mineral starved again after having to replace that same sunken colony so many times. Yeah, anyway, see, like, not very far into the map, and we're already completely tons and tons and tons of Terrans. Like, the, this entire map is different colored, pre-established Terran bases. So, if I get lots of Zerglings going, they do have... Well, it doesn't seem like they've got a lot of siege tanks set up in defensive positions. They just kind of throw them at me occasionally to attack with. But I definitely need to take out Brown. I mean, I can maybe not take out every single color. I think there's four, maybe five colors. Um, i got to take out Brown. What's your deal, man? <laughs> if 
Phoenix himself will, of course, hang on to the background and not do much of anything for pretty much the entire mission. That's just kind of how you need to, to do it here. more movement going on over here there oh they're building up an attack force over here huh? Anticipate that problem. Well, I want to get the faster Zergling attack as soon as possible if I'm actually going to use Zergling. That just makes them so much better. get the uh, the, the uh, hive going pretty soon here. Oh, I don't know what's going on up here. I, this is a thing here that I haven't even looked at. This could get ugly. Got a bunch of huck layers down here. Oh, what queen's nest is going to be down there with no protection? I don't think these guys are going to attack me until I mess with them, though. Legion of Zergling will be fun to see and use. Guys, we're going to collectively hotkeyed together. <laughs> Yeah, once again, um, obviously burning through these minerals at a great way. You can see my mineral counter up here. I'm just not pursuing a strategy where we win this by not killing lots of enemies. Oh. 
This time, not wasting a ton on um, stationary defenses, but and building up some fairly sizable ground forces, even if it's a lot of it's a zergling. Putting down guys over here again. Your command? The hive cluster is under attack immediately. We will immediately attack the hive cluster. Don't get killed, you guy. Yeah, it's back off as soon as you killed the siege tank. Some colonies can handle the rest of them. Oh no, somebody from another army is finally attacking us other than brown. So the orange guys are, I guess, at least aware of us. The brown guys must have had a word. So, let's, uh, see how much damage these guys can do. Obviously, backed up by guys with anti-air, they would be better, but this is enough zergling that it's going to do some damage, even if they're going to be guys who can attack them that they can't fight back against. And, uh, I need to have my queen ready to go. Matter of fact, I should save because I don't want to lose the chance to grab a one of these. They got wiped out pretty fast, didn't they? Oh, I didn't realize they had spider mines. Oh, I had a whole group of them over here I didn't know about. up some minerals while all that was going on. Yeah, okay, so that was alright. Uh, not the best thing that ever happened. Not a total unqualified success. There's the red forces. I didn't actually take out their... Um, Built a uh, 
I was done, then I didn't take out their um, command center, so I don't have to worry about having failed in that respect to take it over. Okay, but I do definitely need to take over base soon, and I'm getting pretty gusty and starved, of course. So it's just a bunch of Terrans who are trying to mind their own business. Boom! Boom! Good one. Yeah, so this first is a bunch of humans trying to mind their own business. Boom! Boom! As I said. Soon we'll have ultimate zerglings. Did I even put hurting into these guys? I mean, I took out a couple of their buildings, but. This is the white base. They've got a little bit of stuff going on near the white base, I guess. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, buddy, that wasn't a very good idea on your part, I'd say. Sending one guy down there. Oh, that's no, 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 sorry. Not that, I meant... Okay, very good. It is strange that this Kelmorian Combine continues to operate while the UED grips the Dominion with an iron fist. I'll never underestimate the motivational effects of Terran greed again. Yeah, yeah, because the Protoss don't have greed, I guess. Or maybe they don't, I don't know. Oh, 
Poor well, guy's back. frustrated. So yeah, we could go after another base with this group of Zergling, but not really ready for an organized attack. And it looks like I'll need uh, transports to this this is the queen oops wow There's another spider mine over here somewhere, wasn't there? Yeah. Hey, he actually killed it before it killed him. Good for you, buddy. Wow. See if you can do it again. <laughs> nope. Shows you how much respect I have for my Zergling soldiers. Alright, so brown should be pretty much gone. <laughs> Except a few other guys refused to quite go quietly into that good night. But... And now I really could just win it this way. Um, just finish mining. But there's a part of me that really wants to, on camera, do the thing where you actually collect all of the possible um, Yeah, part of me wants to collect all of the possible, um, what do you call it, um, things. Now, the, um, uh, the Terran Command Centers for the Infested Ones. I think there's special dialogue that plays, too. But certainly, you've got enough resources to do it. Got close to the best possible uh, army ground units. Uh, you know they're they're pretty much set to go. I need to reorganize my zergling, and uh, if I start building up enough hydrolisk backup. Then I could do my regular pattern on this map, which is to save before each attack, so that I don't accidentally destroy the uh, command centers. Our 
pressure's on the attack. This guy's getting a lot of kills by just cutting them off one at a time. Of course, we can get more of them going, too. Uh, they're coming now. He's got more kills, though, than that one guy. They split their army like that. Two pronged attack where both prongs were too weak to get anywhere. certainly taking my time on this map now that's become apparent I was thinking I wouldn't go for the whole kill everybody thing but now I'm like yeah killing Brown was fun Vespian here, of course. We're gonna get Vespian starved. Well, those guys are here. Okay, another round of hydras. No, not you, not you, not you. We're going to unleash, unleash the kind of military force we'll actually need in the next map. The next map, if it's the one where we actually attack the uh, UED, I don't remember for sure. But uh, yeah, that, that one's pretty nasty. Tough to filter all those guys in there. Our forces are under attack. There we are. Oh, we're gonna have cloaked raids going around bothering us. Do 
No, not you. You stay here. You need to get over here. Okay, guys, stop now. She almost didn't make it, but she's there. Alongside my Protoss brethren again. Ah, but time will tell all things. Okay. Crap. I lost one of them. Although, we'll have to see. It might be that we get a little speech out of uh, Phoenix after each attack after each successful taking of one of those for the first two, and then he stops. In which case, maybe it's not worth it going for all of them. Our forces are under attack. Okay, so you're full of guys. And you need to come drop them off. You need to be in possession in a position to rescue this camp of theirs fairly quickly. I'm gonna actually kill him before he kills all of you. Just by ma well, I had more hydras, but basically just managing it better did me some good there. Didn't worry all that much about the cloak raids, but uh. The cloak wraith energy won't last forever. Oh, my God. 
this time I should be able to get this thing out of here. This is not a covert mission, About the servant and the wishing well. So there's a couple of wraiths that are gonna kill us. Oh, we can just hide. Oh, you guys never got assigned to do work. Well, that's not good. So those wraiths are going to be a pain in the butt. I need to get rid of them. And I have been doing a... I just completely failed to pay attention to what was going on here and therefore did not continue gathering resources during all of that nonsense. So, crap. You know what? Drop this off. Then make a hatchery right here if I can. Yeah, and they can grab the gas and these minerals. More researching to be doing, but doesn't seem like a good time. Ah, he was out of energy. So that's red taken care of. Sorry, you'll never be able to stop um, Lloyd from unleashing the Dark Dragon or whatever the hell's going on in uh, that game that uh, Red is Let's Playing together, or Bobo's watching Red play, I should say. The Hive Cluster is under attack. The quickest, simplest way to save this thing. Maybe they can find some more um, bombs to get blown up by. I guess not. Okay, good stuff. Get another round of research started. And that means that we can't afford units anymore. <laughs> Great strategy. Yeah, there's at least two different colors of guys left. Um, maybe three. But just for funsies, I mean, this is a game that I like to take my time with and enjoy. We will um, basically take over the planet Moria, although for plot purposes that will obviously not stick.
Where'd that first one end up? Or is this the first one? I know I took over two of the all. Oh, here it is. The only Zerg buildings that can fly. So we'll do the full research tree because um, the filers will actually be a fun thing to use here against, uh, especially if, I, if I'm really taking my time and I decide to just uh, actually use a bit of strategy. I can sneak a defiler up here and hit all of this so that it falls, like crumbles easily before, um, you know, the Zerglings attack. Here's some place obviously where I want to set up a base. But they really let you take your time and play around on this map, which I tend to appreciate. defiler somewhere yeah there it is let's hope you don't get killed which you could be could be killed folks do 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 do, do. ultimate Zerg spellcaster Trouble room. So, I want to use that until I got Hydras ready to roll. But I think it's about time I got some Hydras ready to roll. White guys haven't really attacked me yet, so I'll be aggroing them. But white and orange are all that I'm aware of that's left to deal with. God, you know, I build up Ultimo Zerglings and I enjoy using them, but... Hydras just have so much more power to, like, not die immediately. <laughs> okay. I 
Oh, there's another uh, one of those. Spider baby. Mine. So, 75 a pop, that means that you need, I think, 900 to get 12. So, yeah, 36 Hydras plague on this, and they'll definitely be able to go right through. But, um, don't know how much nastiness is waiting beyond here. Yeah, I think the brown guys aren't even fighting back anymore, really, so... You guys are just hanging out in case of emergencies, I guess. It would also be a good place to have Midas canals interconnecting stuff, but I can't be bothered right now. don't want to launch an attack without saving in case I accidentally take out the um enemies command centers without investing them oh they might turn invisible here so Oh, there's siege tanks. Oh, check it out, man. They are not getting around. something else. put hurting on them but and we got some more uh, resources gathered during all that so that's good we got a lot of air but air's not that great against zerglings because most of the air can only attack one ground target at a time there's no splash damage air units I mean there's no splash damage air against ground And uh, we did not take this thing out yet, so that's good. We 
up here, we might be running out of... Yeah, stuff for these guys to mine. Why couldn't you build here? I don't understand. Anyway. Not sure why nobody was able to build there, but... So I think uh, three groups have hyped up Zergling, and then nobody seems to be attacking over here, so let's pull you guys over here. And if we get attacked over there, well then I was stupid. guys are coming. Hmm, look at this. They are ready to kill them as, him as soon as he pops out, but they don't see him. They're just kind of parked. Have some fun with this, though. Definitely have some fun with this. I got all confused here at some point. Meantime, let's get another group of them going, but I need to hot key my guys together in a way that makes more sense. Six, and then if I've got enough resources, I can get a bunch of uh, ultralists going. I won't have enough now, but.
population limit up to the max, shall we? Didn't I send somebody over here? Apparently they couldn't do anything. Maybe the uh, Terrans have taken this area back. Wouldn't take much if I'm just sending over drones with no accompaniment. It's kind of weird that they had spider mines at this base that apparently they shouldn't have had any idea the Zerg were ever coming here. But they had spider mines scattered throughout. I guess to kill other Terrans who were raiding their territory, perhaps. That's not really worth it. And there will come a point in this mission if I wipe out all the Terrans where I just have to kick back and wait till I gather enough minerals. Because you don't win by defeating all of the enemies on the screen. They will make you sit through the process of, uh, you know, getting enough. Yeah, somehow I ended up with an extra guy over here. Just hang out with him. Oh, these guys can't get over there. Tch. I got their landlocked here, kind of. Well, they can set up over here anyway. Let's see work for there right now. were coming in as fast as they should have, and there's a the reason. <laughs> so there turned out to be a whole bunch of missile turrets I didn't know about hanging around on the way. Entirely possible. Anyway, got enough to get my ultras going, so. Ultra, ultra, ultra. And this should be the the end of just about anybody. There's a couple leftover red structures. As long as there's more than 300 in these places, it's worth setting up. So this would be seven. Suddenly I'm thirsty for seven. Okay. You would think that this uh, orange guy, these did sound like one guy to attack me a long time ago. They should have noticed by now that they've lost contact with red and brown. 
and uh, you know, assuming they were good friends, which of course is not safe assumption at all. And that um, White has probably been reporting. Um, Zerg kind of came after us, and we fought them back, but um, we don't think they're done. <laughs> Guys, still come along here. Are you guys stuck? You guys are stuck. <sighs> yeah, let's see how you can get through. Just need a little cooperation from uh, this veteran uh, Ultra Lisk over here. Select this drone. Get up there. Get working. Okay, now just because of Inviso dudes, we want to have a couple of uh, observers, and now we should be ready to pull the trigger on white. Really hoping to get off an attack. I was hoping to just pop up and plague, but nope, died before I could. Not really unexpected, unfortunately. Alright, so did I save? I just lost a unit. Why am I saving right now? Eh. Battle cruisers and everything, these guys are not messing around. Damn it. They killed it. That's what I was afraid of. Yeah, if uh, Phoenix doesn't say anything this time, then I think we can just assume that we've gotten all the dialogue we're going to get out of that. This time I didn't actually spawn breathing anybody to help, but uh... Or use web. I didn't really do anything useful with the coin, did I? Whee! Damn it, they did it again. That's the stuff. No, it's not. I uh, tried to pull them off, but it was too late. Oh, 
I'm not even really using the guys that I said I was going to bring out to deal with invisible units. Yay! This time I did it in time. Let's go ahead and save since this has been such a major issue. <laughs> I think there's a missile turret there, so I don't really want to. Well, I don't want to just leave it here either, so hopefully we can fly it by. like it gets affected by goop. But this thing flying... Oh, it's out of range anyway. Anything left of you guys? I guess a little bit. Get a group of flyers going just because that'll make it easier to patrol around and get rid of any little leftover missile turrets that'll irritate our overlords later. But I'm going to try to avoid building another full sized army at this point. Yeah, somebody's got to be able to scout around for stuff. Can't, I thought for some reason it was six of these total are available. Maybe it's only four. I don't see where there's room for two more bases. Although that wasn't very big right there. Our forces are under attack. Orange. We knew they were going to be over here somewhere, of course. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, of course, it looks like we've um, pretty much finished off white now. Well, let's keep going. Let's not bother with anything fancy like... Uh, oh, there's blue. There's also a blue civilization. All right, well... Our 
forces are under attack. Our forces are under attack. This is all on pass. Orange has a sizable base. It's kind of a weird positioning. Save before I blow this thing up. Whoa. I don't need all you. Damn! I might have saved at exactly the wrong time. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Crap, I saved it exactly the wrong time. I'm trapped in a loop. Oh my god. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Did it? Had to use hotkeys instead of trying to grab units. All right, well we stopped getting uh, neat little sayings out of uh, Phoenix, so I think it's time to attack Blue and end it. These guys may have been bankrupted at some point. Shooting at us. It was like a missile. There was a missile turret shooting at us or something. Okay. Ah. Oh, never mind. We went automatically to grab all of the uh, command centers. So I thought we were going to have to sit through the boring process of me mining the rest, but no, we didn't. That was the slowest, most belabored possible way to win the mission, but hey, it's the mysterious JG you're talking to. Slow and belabored is how I roll. <laughs> Slowly. So it took over an hour, but uh, we took five Terran command centers. And I'll barely use them in the next mission. I just always think it's fun. Um, as far as I'm concerned, that means that the Zerg are taking over the planet uh, Moria. So the plot won't reflect that, but I say it is so. Um, we lost 271 units. Woo! 87 plus 76. That would be 150. Plus 40, I mean, we killed more than we lost, but not by a whole lot. Certainly raised a lot more structures than anybody else. And, uh, but the white guys spent almost, well, they spent mo almost as much as we did. Uh, because they were throwing freaking battle cruisers at us. Now, battle cruisers are not good against hydras. Battle cruisers are just expensive to use against hydras. But, um, yeah, we came at them with a lot of hydras, and... Had us a lot of fun. So it took over an hour, but we've taken over the planet, and now we're ready to liberate Core Hall from the UED and place it back under the command of an evil dictator in Banks. That's going to have to wait for next time, folks. Because after an almost 90-minute video, I need to take a little...
star crap break. This has been the Mysterious JG. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and, uh, yeah, sorry that that took so long, but that's the way I like to do that mission. Uh, take your time and just crush everybody in your path. You can obviously win it a lot faster if you just um, build some defenses and mine that first point. But uh, it's more fun. And we got to hear uh, unique dialogue from Phoenix. And, uh, you know, Phoenix is he's like the bard, man. You want to savor every word. Anyway, next time, folks.